So I, 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 like, I like this train of thought, Tim. So I like evolution 4.0 and I like the, the need of us as an industry to have to evolve so that when we do a handoff, either from a, a new build into a facility or from first shift to third shift, uh, you know, a new employee coming in. We have. I think that everyone in this conversation, and I would hope everyone listening to us, agrees that we have to do a better job training and preparing everyone. But I think the question becomes, where is that? Where is that push going to come from? Is it going to push? Is it going to come from the facilities? who can't get their machines to run at, you know, at spec at quota, you know, three months after they get a new machine handoff, is it going to come from, you know, OEMs saying that, Hey, we need to put a line item on this $5 million machine for a hundred thousand dollars of training. Is it going to come from, you know, a lot of these R and D and other tax credits that I've seen some people successfully you've used to get the uh, get more training into their facilities. Where do you think, I guess, where do you think it is going to come from and where do you think it should come from? I was hoping you would ask that. Where should it come from? I'll answer that one first. It should come from the people selling the equipment. Yep. I mean, and if you, if you want your reputation to be that you are the best equipment maker, then that absolutely, it should be, it should not be an option. It's not a line item, line item option. In other words, you purchase equipment from us, you must do this training. If yep. you won't do this training, I'm not selling you the equipment. And until we get there, there are always going to be these friction points. Now, where does it come from? It does come from the company that unfortunately has already had costly downtime. Yep. I mean, flat out, that's number one. I mean, when I get a call from somebody, there's never somebody that says, I want to come to your training. Our equipment once works perfectly. It's always with, you know, we, we, we are losing so much money mm-hmm. off of downtime and we're having to call people in and nobody's mm-hmm. available. And so our equipment's sitting here doing nothing. Yep. We need training. Mm-hmm. And that's not the position that we should be in with this. I mean, we, we should, we should be training them long before they have a problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. 